So, so let me get started with this question. And um, as usual, the hint links you to the, uh, I'm gonna do control click so I don't navigate away from this page. Um, as usual, hint links you to the section and in the questions like this, the section actually has the formulas you need. <laughs> so, so as you are working on this yourself, I encourage you to do that, follow the hint, or you know, test yourself. See how much you remember. Um, for me, I remember most of this, so <laughs> I'll just jump right into it. So let me bring my annotation tool here so that I can write here. Um, it says that a uh, voltage of um, so it says some um, voltage. Let me label this delta V. A voltage is induced across a coil when the current through it changes uniformly, uh, meaning, I guess what it must mean is at, the, at a constant rate. I don't know if uniformly is necessarily the right word, but it's giving me the change of current and it's giving me the duration of time. Uh, it asks what is the self-inductance of the coil. It's asking me the inductance L. So this is where it's good for you to remember the defining expression for uh, inductance, which is through this relationship that gives you the change in the voltage across an inductor in terms of the inductance times the rate of change of current. And here, because it told me it's changing uniformly, I can say this instantaneous rate of change is the same thing as the average rate of change, as in total change of current over the total duration of time. All right, um, so I have an equation. Let me mark all the quantities I know. I know delta V, I know both of these, and I'm being asked for inductance. So I guess I'll just uh, uh, solve for inductance. So the in Inductance L is equal to delta V times delta T divided by change of current. And that's it. Um, oh, uh, delta, I guess it's not technically given directly. You would have to do the subtraction to get 0 0.45 ampere. So, um, so you plug the, uh, so you plug the numbers into this expression plug it in here. And um, I will say this about the units. So the answer is supposed to be in units of a Henry. That's the unit of inductance. And if you make sure that you plug in everything in the basic SI units, in volts, in amperes, and in seconds, then um, you can kind of trust that if you didn't make an algebra mistake here, the final unit will come out to be Henry. So, um, so yeah, so it's that I, you can plug in the numbers yourself. So I'll move on to the next question. Um, this is a, uh, but I do want to emphasize that this is an ex important expression as you work with the time dependent circuits and uh, a little bit later with the AC or as you try to understand the AC circuits, this is the defining expression for inductor. Everything about inductor, except for the energy stored in it, comes from here. Or uh, even the energy stored in it can be derived from here. 